Hello everyone, welcome to the itvideos.com. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you are coming back to this channel, I welcome you back. As the topic of this video says, and we are going to be talking about seven things that you can do to get better at software development. So without further ado, I'm going to start with the first thing, and that is focus on fundamentals first, because if you are working on anything, be it software development or any other project for that matter, or any other field for that matter, if you don't have the fundamentals down right, if you don't have the uh, basics sorted out, it will be very hard for anyone to get a good understanding of what they are doing. Because fundamentals are new, we don't get new fundamentals every day. The fundamentals do not change, they remain the same because fundamentals form the basis of any success that you're going to achieve in your line of work. So make sure that you understand before you go to the next phase, before you go to the next project, make sure that you have properly understood and you have your fundamentals all sorted out. Step number two, that is break down the problems into smaller ones. What that means is if you have a bigger problem or a big puzzle to solve, you can break it down into smaller pieces so that it's easy for you to understand, you know, as someone said, what's the best way to eat an elephant? Well, it's one bite at a time. Regardless of how big, how giant the project may look like, as long as you really write it down and break those mammoth giant project into smaller one, smaller achievable goals. Let's say you have got a bigger goal. If you divide that into sub goals and then achieve that, and eventually you will achieve that big goal that you had in mind. Uh, step number three is get good at problem solving. We all face problems. You are going to face problems. What I mean by problems is that getting better at this is critical because solving riddles, writing codes on paper and all that can really help you with solving problems. So, I mean, I've seen many developers, uh, well, including myself, uh, you know, if they're stuck at something, they Google and they go to Stack Overflow, they find a solution, they just use that. Uh, that can be helpful at times, but if you really want to get better at problem solving, you need to rely on your uh, you know, common sense prevails. You may be working on a solution or a project that is probably unique. Someone else may not be having the exact same problem that you are. So if you could connect the dots and see see the bigger picture and, you know, if you face a problem, let's say, you know, step back and maybe, you know, take a break, you know, go out for a walk. Sometimes when we extract ourselves from the situation, uh, we take a break and then come back we get some ideas like i get some ideas in the shower because there's no distraction and you know i'm not uh, fiddling with my mobile phone or if i'm i'm not doing anything you are not distracted by anything and you're just you know thinking you're thinking and that's how you get your ideas flowing so i'm not it's not that's not to say if your second problem go take a shower well you should do and you know as far as the hygiene is concerned but anyway that's for a different topic but uh, so these are some of the things I thought of talking about as far as the problem solving is concerned. The other thing I would like to talk about is that get comfortable with failure. Uh, I hate to break this news. Uh, if you have spent uh, some time programming, you would have realized that programming is hard and finding the right answer won't be immediate because uh, if you're looking for a solution, you know, it might, it may not be there right away. You know, you'll have to spend some time and Sometimes when you get so obsessed, sometimes when you get so discouraged and you're spending hours and hours looking for a solution. I remember I was working on a project where just getting this error, you know, and literally I know that there was this small colon missing, a single quote missing. And, you know, I mean, sometimes we have done everything right, everything works all good, but there could be, you know, syntax errors, you know, uh, logical errors, uh, runtime errors. So it, it can be a bit tricky, but if you just keep at it and be persistent and you know avoid that uh, imposter syndrome as one may have. I'll do another video on how to overcome the imposter syndrome because that could be quite common in uh, uh, people in this field, especially in, in software engineering. All right, step five, build projects that you love. Let's say you're working on a project that 
uh, you don't love but you have to do it because it's part of your work or it's part of the work engagement that you have but your passion is working on let's say react or, or node or python uh, you can start working on a side project let's say on weekends or spend one hour every day after your work it will not only give you a great practice you'll also get some confidence along the way and you can also showcase that project later on in your career the other thing i would like to talk about which is the sixth which is the sixth thing and that is do not compare yourself with others but only to yourself what i mean by that is let's say you are working with someone and the other individual is doing far better than you and you, you look to yourself and you feel like well maybe i'm not good enough or something because no two human beings can be the same they may not be having the same uh, comprehension or, or understanding of a particular subject uh, because i may be good at something the other person may not be good at something he may be uh, good at something that i may not be good at something everyone has uh, different levels of uh, talent and understanding so uh, the only person you need to compare yourself is with yourself how good you were compared to yourself yesterday have you uh, learned something new or you have gone a bit better uh, than what you were yesterday that speaks volume the seventh thing and the last thing is you need to celebrate your wins because even a small tiny thing let's say you're working on some a project let's say and you've spent you know months and months and finally that project has gone to production and it is seeing the lights it is you know it has uh, you know finally as they say rubber has hit the road and uh, you know the end users are liking it the consumers are liking it and you're getting some feedback well that is a win and if you are if that is a win that makes you a winner and if you are a winner you should celebrate your wins reward yourself it will only encourage you to do something more in the future so with that these are some of the things i thought of you know sharing with you guys uh, if you found it helpful or if you think i might have missed something please let me know in the comments down below in the end thank you very much for your time and i'll see you next time <music>